back. Today's video we're gonna be working on is uh, door bars. Uh, we're starting on that because that's what we're gonna mount the seat off of. So we're gonna get that going, kind of jump right into it. Uh, trying to do a little better time lapse to speed them up a little bit faster, but I want y'all to see the entire process. Uh, and a few little tips and tricks in this video. I'm gonna try and incorporate a little bit uh, more of that. These are, doesn't mean it's the best way. doesn't mean it's probably even the right way. It's just what works best for me. Maybe it'll help you too. So, here you go. tip I see we're doing the, the door bars now the X brace and I showed y'all that I use this cheap little angle finder from uh, Amazon just tighten up the little screws and it'll work good so I use the pipe to find my angle which I've already done so I'm not gonna go through that I just want to show you what the cool thing about this uh, Buildco guillotine notcher I'm gonna show y'all how I do this, so bear with me. This is the flat surface, okay? Where the where the pipe clamps, okay? And this is the flat surface that the uh, the bit is attached to. Let's see here if I can show you the plate, okay? So all I do is I make sure that it sits flat up against that plate and the the guillotine here. And that's how I get my angles. So it works super easy and you have everything you need. So there's much nicer tools, much more expensive and stuff like that, but we are on a budget. People do this all the time. A lot of people build some of the best cars in the world and not even on a the table. They do that stuff on the ground and still works great. So having expensive fancy tools is nice, but it's not the end of the world. So like I said, I just wanna show y'all, this is the build go. This is what I use, and that's how I set my angles, right there. So the angles matched up, so that's how I'm gonna notch that deal, and should work out pretty good. Um, I'll show you here. Come along for the walk. So this is, this is my tube here, and you can see, I use a Sharpie, where is that, there you go. I mark where the throat of the cope needs to be. That's just a rough estimate of where it should be. I always cut it on the longer side. That way, um, as we massage the tube, because even though you use a whole saw notcher, it's not perfect. You still use the tiger disc to, or a drum sander to open it up to have even better fit. The better the fit, easier it welds, better it comes out, everything. So that's that. This is the pipe for the other side of the X brace here. This does not have to be the same size as this. This bar has to be inch and five eighths. This can be inch and a half, okay? Depending on what material you're using, it's depending on the thickness. Um, so as y'all just saw, oh, let me put it the right way. We cut this bar, we measured it. It fits great. This is about what I want. Now, since you already, this is the last cut. I started with this one and then I, I did the intersect point. This angle right here, 
we can keep set up. We can keep set up for this other bar here because if you flip it and reverse it, it's gonna be exactly, if you do your math right, the correct angle you need for the other side. So this way you don't have to reset up your jig. Just remember, I start with the dash bar side and the intersect point is my last cut because I can turn around and my second piece, I can keep the same angle and cut it and fit for this. Um, so you can see here the the throat part is what i had to cut down because the whole saw will leave it flat so you can come back with the tiger disc or the drum sander i use a tiger disc um and open this up a little bit and then you can see uh, come right here so see. this is inch of five eighths two you can see that it fits up good so if you want to get super technical with it, you can get a drum sander, which will work good too, and it'll fit up even tighter than that. But you're no matter what, you have to open up the uh, inside of this throat right here, no matter what, with something. So anyway, keep this angle here for your second portion of this X brace. That's just what I want you to keep in mind and remember. Um, and it's gonna cut down time, because otherwise I'm gonna take a measurement for the main hoop side. I'm gonna move the notcher set up, move the angle, have to cut it and then come right back to the same angle anyway. So this will save us probably about 10, 15 minutes right there. And I can go ahead and start with this angle on this next piece right here. So just a little quick tip might help y'all. Timmy showed up for the last 11 minutes of work. But these are the door bars they're in for the most part. Need to finish welding them out so we can do some seat fitment here. Still awkward. This is a universal um, carbon seat, so obviously you have to make it work. But I need the door bars in because the seat is going to mount off of these. It's, um, I think, 3 8 tubing I'm gonna come off that and then there's gonna be some Zeus tabs off on the back but you get the idea you can you can drop these bars down a little bit to give you a little bit more room to get in and out but this is the safest in my opinion and that's what I'm after so we're gonna keep trucking try and get seat mounted I think and then we can do the bars for the back of the funny car stuff but yeah there we are. Not bad. What do you think, Timmy? I like it. He's just saying that because he's standing right in front of me. He might not like it. <laughs> All right. That's where I'm going to stop for this evening.